I served on the parliamentary committee that looked at what might happen in Afghanistan should the British, the Americans and allies retreat from Kabul. We warned that those most at risk would be women and minorities like the Hazara. Well, the 15th of August of this year marks three years since the fall of Kabul and the capture of the city by the Taliban. The Taliban taking over Afghanistan brought about the collapse of the 20 years of progress on human rights in the country and especially the rights of women and girls, but also of minorities right across the country. Over the last three years, We've witnessed attack after attack against the Hazara community in Afghanistan with deadly bombings of Hazara districts, schools and places of worship. Over the last three years, women and girls have been erased from society with decree after decree, even confining them to their own homes. Violence against women and girls is on the increase. Suicide rates have been skyrocketing. However, the situation receives very little international attention as Afghanistan just isn't a hot topic anymore. Well, we need to do far better. We need to act to prevent the atrocity crimes being carried out against the Hazara. We need to recognize that the treatment of women and girls in Afghanistan amounts to gender apartheid, and we have to address it as such. And we need to act on the suffering of people in Afghanistan and not allow the Taliban to get away with gross violations of human rights with impunity.